The thought of the hospital unit closing down is just terrifying, it really is. I discovered a lump under my arm the day my daughter came home from Australia, which is why it's so vivid in my mind. Two weeks later, I was in hospital, being told I've got cancer, and I think I just went into total shock. The chickens are hens rescued from a battery farm, which get rid of them at the end of their life. Um, they lay all the eggs that we need, the two of us, and we have a surplus, we give them away to old people in the village and Wendy's <laughs> friends on the uh, cancer support group and that. It's just another one of her good deeds. I think anyone does. You suddenly think, I'm going to die. That's the first thing you think, I'm going to die. The level of care at Dorchester is fantastic. They are so fast, there's no hanging about at all. There's no waiting times for surgery. I mean, I sort of thought I had something wrong with me on the 15th of December and on the 5th of February I was in surgery. I'm here today because I had breast cancer. I had both breasts removed here in the hospital, followed by chemotherapy. And I feel that it's a closer unit here and everybody has to go to pool. It's a very stressful situation. Uh, you don't feel very well after you had chemo, another chemo and another chemo. And having to, tra to travel to pool, you must have been... Well, I just couldn't travel very far, put it that way, except the car park here from the unit. Uh, Dorset is a, quite a rural area, and I think people having to travel to Poole, you know, it's quite a long way. It's not so bad from Dorchester, but the people that are in the surrounding districts. And it's lovely to be able to just speak to the breast nurses, have them here. They're always there on the end of the phone, and it's such a good service. I, I think the main thing is the government say we've got to, we should have a choice of where to have treatment. They're taking away our choice if they close this unit here. And, you know, this is one of, well, Gordon Brown's always the, saying, you must have a choice. One of the best units in the country. Yeah. And we Fantastic. want to keep it here. Fantastic support, support staff as well. We get in a petition that says that the undersigned deeply care about the quality and accessibility of breast cancer treatment and care in Dorset and wish this excellent service to be retained at Dorset County Hospital in Dorchester. We put petitions nearly every GP surgery, chemists, libraries, hairdressers, vets, shops, shops, yes, shops pubs, as a number 10 website, petition, garden centres, <laughs> Facebook, Facebook. <laughs> What about the cost to us if we've got to travel back and forth to the pool? For radiotherapy, it worked out at £300 that I had to pay every day for six weeks. So add on top of that all the rest of the treatment that everybody has to go through. The cost is ridiculous. I'm treasurer of the West Dorset Breast Cancer Support Group. The, the demo march was organised by the chairperson of another branch, um, the Dorchester branch. All I did was get out all the press releases. Because we were told at one time, you've got to give 10 weeks notice and have a £5 million insurance policy. And we said, don't be silly. We're not anti-war demonstrators. We're elderly ladies for cancer. <laughs> Now you're on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Such a brilliant service. I mean, when I was in the hospital, the breast care nurses came round and said, there are clubs you can join, there's one near you, and they give you a little brochure, which then is the West Dorset Breast Cancer Support Group. I'm Nikki Imber. Um, I was, I'm, I'm involved with the running of the Young Girls West Dorset Breast Cancer Support Group. Once I did join, it's very reassuring because there's ladies there who had cancer 20, 30 years ago and they're still alive and you think, if they can do it, I can do it. I remember when I was going through my chemo, my chemo I think I was my second one and I felt so drained, so tired, in pain, my arm hurt, my breast hurt. And I went along to the meeting at uh, one of the ladies' houses because she was having an open garden um, cream tea uh, meeting. And I came out and I felt like I was walking on air because just the fact that they, you know, they were just, Nikki looked well, you know, and even though I didn't feel well, they just said I looked well. Just the fact that they were there. And I'd never have got through if it hadn't have been for these support groups. And we're there, we're, we're there for anybody that wants to come you know, in a phone call or just turn up on the day and then they'll get welcomed in. You know, then one lady came and poor girl, she was sat there with a wig, you know, with a scarf around her head because she just had her first treatment of chemo and she ended up by being made up by a makeup lady. You know? <laughs> she had been since, I don't think, but no, seriously, she has been since. But uh, she, it's just, just to make them feel that we're not all, it's not all bad. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as it, as soon as we heard that it might might be moved, it was just we've got to stop it. We have got to stop it happening. We don't want it moved to Paul. We want it to be kept at Dorchester, especially after we've helped to raise money towards keeping the chemo unit there. We're, where we're under an umbrella of the hospital, and set up by the nurses originally, the breast care nurses, many years ago. If they're not at Bridport, the Dorchester Hospital, then they're not going to send the new patients to us. We would probably carry on as friends because we are, you know, groups of friends now, you know, good friends. And but if you haven't got new people coming in, it won't keep keep them going. And and obviously we won't have the support of the hospital to have sent for them to send us the new patients. Because obviously, if our breast cancer nurses don't go there, then that would be it, I would say. I think it would really make a, a difference, a big difference, if they took it away. You know, at least with Dorchester, it's 15 miles down the road. I can get, get there, I can get on the phone to the nurses. They're, they're there, they know my name. You walk in the door, they know who I am. The, I mean, the staff are wonderful there, they really are. They're so caring, kind, considerate. I, I can't complain about the National Health Service at all. I would complain about chemo. Extra travelling will obviously drain people. You know, they have enough, you know, if you have to have radiotherapy, you have to go five times a week to pull every day. Each session gets worse and worse. And eventually, towards the end, you're not recovering between sessions. and. I was very ill, I had every side effect going and a couple of times I thought I'd rather be dead than this. To go an extra 40 miles or 30 miles from Dorchester, it, it just I, I wouldn't have been able to cope with it. If, if they move it to Poole, I think people's lives will be at risk because I do feel that some patients won't go to Poole. They'll cancel the appointment, they'll do it, they, it won't fit in with their, their week or their children or their um, their lifestyle at the time, you know, they may cancel the appointments and of course that cancer will grow and maybe they just won't go. I just feel, I just feel that a lot of people just won't turn up. Dorchester covers a wide range of, a wide, a wide area. And you're going as far as Lyme Regis, you know, coming that, that way and then you're going out to Blandford, you know, and Weymouth, it covers such a wide area and just keep it in Dorchester. Why do I do it? I think because they saved my life. I want to save the life, lives of other women who are going, going to go through what I've been through 
and they need to do it at the best possible place. And for here, that's Dorset County Hospital. I, I do feel very, very strongly about this. It might be all very well to centralise services in a big town, but when you live in rural Dorset, you don't want to do long journeys. You can't afford to do the long journeys. And Dorchester is there and it's our county hospital.